Hey everyone, this is Mortimer doing a Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program, and uh, not GTA 5 as I'm sure some people would like me to, uh, but anyway, uh, a couple of things. No, I'm not trying to turn this into a gaming channel or anything. Uh, this is actually um, just uh, me recording some footage from the Kerbal Space Program that I will be using in a video addressing Flat Earthers. Um, I want to use this for illustrative purposes, um, so no flat earthers. I'm not saying that I can prove you wrong using a video game. There are some principles that I want to show, and this is a great way of showing it. So, let's see here. I have to apologize for my noisy computer. It's um, old and, uh, well, running anything will overwork it. So, uh, yeah, I'm shocked I could run GTA 5 on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, in this video is I'm simply going to um, launch a rocket into orbit. And I want to show a few simple things about uh, orbital mechanics and um, just show what it looks like when you're gaining altitude on a round planet. What you have to keep in mind is that Kerbin, the planet here, is uh, actually about a tenth uh, the size of the Earth. Uh, and it has one tenth of the diameter of the Earth, as I recall. So. Um, what you will see here is um, going to be... Um, you're going to see the effects of, uh, of the curvature much more clearly than you see them on Earth. Uh, I need to replace these engines because I did a take of this earlier and I used the wrong engines on this rocket. Uh, so it turned out to be very difficult to control. Uh, in this version, uh, 1.0, um, the controls are a little more sensitive. I think they, they're really trying to make it damn near impossible to control uh, a rocket unless you have swivel engines. Maybe I did have that already. I don't know. Ah, screw it. Um, so, yeah, this rocket is definitely overkill for what I'm going to show, but, um, ah, well, who cares? Uh, everything looks set up correctly, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing... Uh, I'd like people to see here is that um, the horizon looks flat. But I'm actually on this planet. Notice how when I zoom in the horizon starts looking more and more flat and now it looks more and more round because you can see the surface more clearly. Uh, you, uh, you can see the curvature more clearly. Or you can see the entire thing. I have no idea what that is. A land and spacecraft. I thought I recovered that. Ah, screw it. But anyway, one of the arguments that I want to address is actually the claim that uh, if you take a picture, uh, you know, of the horizon like a picture like this, uh, the horizon looks flat. And uh, that's the case. Uh, because you are close to the ground. Now you need to be at pretty high altitude on Earth to notice this, but on Kerbin you don't have to go that far out. Um, because it's smaller than Earth. But um, if you go high enough, you'll see it. And you're you're going to see this happen, and you're going to see how slowly it happens. Uh, and you can just try to imagine this... Um, what would happen if you were on a planet ten times bigger than this? The effect would be less noticeable. 
Uh, but another thing I want to show is why spacecraft maneuver the way they do, why they turn sideways. Um, it's not because there's some magical limit that you can't, you know, you can't gain altitude beyond this or uh, you'll bump into the firmament or something like that. Yeah, there are actually people so stupid that they believe stuff like that. Uh, actually, it's to conserve fuel. Because if you want to get into orbit and just going straight up and turning sideways when you reach the desired altitude, that is not going to work. You will just keep going away from the Earth and uh, you'll probably reach escape velocity rather than get into orbit. So what you need to do is go sideways and you want to go sideways as early as possible um, so that uh, you can serve fuel because um, if you think of like a triangle um, going straight up or sideways uh, you don't want to go straight up and then go sideways instead you what you want to do is go like this the hypotenuse um, it's going to be shorter than going up and then turning sideways uh, of course you can't really do that uh, in reality because um, you'll be working against the atmosphere and against gravity so what you want to do is you want to get gain some altitude uh, so that you're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere and then you want to turn sideways gradually so you go sort of like that and that's exactly what I'm gonna do or try to do rather because uh, um, I've goofed before but anyway here we go notice that the horizon looks flat It's already starting to look a little bit curved here. And at some point, uh, it's going to simply be undeniable. Liquid fuel engines and dump the solid rocket boosters. And now I think it's pretty much undeniable that you can see the curvature in the curve in here. Now I think it's about time I started gently tipping over. I don't want to go too fast because that might cause me to lose control. That's about it. Yeah. I'm tipping. Crap. That's pretty stable. So what I want to do is get up to about... I want the, the highest point of the orbit uh, to be at a... Well, it, it has to be outside the atmosphere, and I want some margin so I'm thinking this should be about 80,000. At that point I'm going to kill the engine. Which is not how, uh, how it's done in real life. I think. But, um, yeah. I should have probably made uh, this stage smaller so that I could have dumped it now and then started to burn immediately the, the orbital insertion. Which I will be doing when I get to here. You'll notice this is actually dropping, that's because I'm still encountering some uh, atmospheric drag. Uh, you'll see here, I'm still actually inside the atmosphere. But anyway, I am going to add a maneuver node here and uh, let the computer figure out just how long I have to burn in order to make uh, the orbital insertion. There we go. Uh, yeah. That orbit is completely out of the atmosphere. And the game is just telling me where to 
aim and for how long to burn. I'm gonna burn for 49 seconds, it says here. Uh, and in 30 seconds I will be passing the node, so you know what? I'm just gonna start the burn right now so I don't pass by it. And I'm gonna run out of fuel in this stage during this burn, but I have one more stage here. And a separate engine. So this will be just fine. And what's happening now is I'm actually just... I'm not going up, I'm going sideways, as you can see. And I'm going to explain why that is once I get into orbit. Not quite there yet, and now the stage is empty, so I'm done from that. And I'm getting closer and closer to being in orbit. I'm going to kill the engine. Mm. Now! Crap. Oh well. I'm in orbit anyway. It's not the orbit I wanted, but it'll work. Okay, so what's happening now is that I killed that maneuver node. Okay, so what's happening now is I'm going sideways. And the, the laws of physics want me to keep going in this direction. But then, of course, there's gravity. So, well, inertia wants me to keep going in this direction but gravity wants me to go in that direction, so the result is that I'm going to go... well... not straight that way, not straight that way, but a compromise between those. And what's going to happen is, because I'm moving fast enough sideways, like this, I'm going to miss the planet as I fall toward it. And uh, I'll end up, let's say, there. And there, well... I'm supposed to keep going in this direction, but I'm also being pulled in this direction by gravity. So this process repeats itself, and I end up in this circular orbit. Well, roughly circular, anyway. And uh, the way I return to Kerbin is uh, not by turning toward it and burning the engine. Well, I I, I could do that, but that would not be fuel efficient, because I would still be going sideways. So what I need to do is hit the brakes sideways. Uh, I want to land on the day side of the planet, so I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Uh, if I don't use my engines, I'm stuck in orbit. Uh, this orbit is stable. Uh, so it's never going to decay on its own. But, let's see, I think that should be about it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to return to the planet, and what I'm doing then is simply, I'm turning the ship around, and I'm going to do uh, what's called a retrograde burn. Is that the prograde marker? Oh, crap. I'll just do this the proper way. That's retrograde. So I will be burning in this direction, and I'm supposed to do this burn in three minutes. So I'm going to speed up time. And it's only going to take two seconds of burning here. That's because now I am... I'm out of the atmosphere. There's no uh, there's no friction or anything, so just, you know, even the tiniest force is going to have a very significant effect. And this uh, is a pretty light uh, rocket now, now that I've dumped all those. I'm, I'm too late here. I'm 20 seconds past uh, uh, time, but who, who cares? I've got... I've got plenty of fuel, so it doesn't matter. Okay. My orbit should now be the game. Yeah! And I am going to land on the day side and in, in the desert here. I don't want to land in the desert. So I'm going to burn some more. There we go. 
Actually, you know what? I want to land in the ocean because I want it to be. I, I, I want to be able to show um, the horizon properly, so I don't want uh, mountains and stuff to get in the way. And let's speed up time. Again. Okay, so now I am just gonna... I don't need this stage anymore, so I'm gonna dump it. Um, which is a bit of a waste, um, but who cares? I'm, I'm just playing the sandbox mode here, so I don't have to worry about saving money or anything like that. And I'm now in the atmosphere, and soon you should be seeing some fireworks going off uh, due to friction, which in this game doesn't actually cause damage. It just looks cool. And look at the horizon. You, you've clearly seen that this is a round body I'm landing on. You're going to see that it's going to start looking flat when I come down. I can't believe that is so hard to understand for some people. This doesn't prove that the Earth is round. That's not the point. I'm simply trying to illustrate something, as I said initially. And I'm deploying the parachute because, well, it doesn't really matter if I survive since I'm playing sandbox mode, but. Well. I kind of felt like it. I'll be speeding up. Time. Oh, shut up. Now it starts looking surprisingly flat again. Huh? Well, not surprisingly, actually. Should just deploy the fully. The horizon looks flat. But you've seen clearly that this is a round planet that I'm landing on. The principle applies to the Earth as well. Even if this isn't the Earth, it's the same principle. So complaining about how I'm how video games don't prove anything is pointless because again I'm trying to illustrate the principle. That's all. And uh, that's it. Uh, maybe some people want me to do more uh, more of this. Uh, maybe I will. Uh, we'll see. That's it for this time. See ya.